Hey guys, it's May May, and today we're making another one of our open house holiday make and takes. This is what we're gonna make. We're actually making this one today, and you'll see that this little truck is a little brighter red than one I have here. This was our original sample we did before we chose the um, vinyl that we wanted to use. So that's why you see that this one's a little darker, but it also matches our pom-poms better. Today I'm gonna show you how to make it in this way, which is putting your pom-poms to the front, but we will be making them this way in our make and take at the store. But I wanted to give you two options. So let's get started. So this bandana is only $1.99, okay? It will make 16 ornaments. And let me show you how super easy this is. So the bandana comes already folded in the shape you need it, which is super cool, okay? So it's folded in these quadrants, right? The way it is folded on um, in the little package. And all you need is one of those little quadrants. So let me cut one out. It is a five by five inch square. That's the size you need to do this. Oh, we even have the hoops. I didn't tell you, but we even have the hoops in store for you guys. So you can make these like crazy and you can get, did I tell you, you can get 16 of them from one bandana? It's amazing. All right, I'm gonna cut this out and I don't really care that it's perfect because I'm gonna fix all that. That won't be a big deal. By the way, this is one of those don't blink projects because it's so easy, right? So here is my little piece. And what I wanna do is first, I want to put my little truck on it. So I'm using the truck, but like I said, we also have the deer for you guys. And we, and we cut a bunch of these. If we run out, we'll cut more. As long as we can, we'll get them to you guys. So these, we already have weeded for you. This is literally how it will come to you in this little package. But because we've already weeded it for you, it has this little stickiness to it. Not the vinyl, but the transfer tape. So it'll stick to your package. You'll just have to pull that out, but it'll be fine. But you don't even have to weed. We've done all the work for you. Isn't that awesome? All right, I'm gonna put this guy in the center of my little fabric here. And before I heat this on, by the way, you can just heat this with a regular old iron. You don't need anything fancy. I just wanna make sure I have plenty of room, and I do. See all that space I've got? Plenty of room. All right, now we wanna heat this guy on. And all you do is put him down. Let me get my little ironing board. Protect your work surface. This is a little ironing board I got from Walmart ages and ages and ages ago, and we have used it forever. So I just thought I'd bring it here to my work surface. So you can use whatever you have at home to heat this with, okay? I'm gonna use my Easy Press Mini, which I'm super excited about. This is so adorable. Notice how it has three heat settings on the side. I'm not gonna use the highest setting. I'm gonna go to the middle, okay? Because this um, heat transfer vinyl only needs to be like 275 degrees, and this guy will go all the way up to 400. So I'm just gonna use the middle there. And I'm also going to protect the top of this plastic. You don't really have to do this, but I like to do it. So I'm just gonna take my bandana fabric that I didn't cut and lay it over. And then I'm just going to heat this guy into place. I love this little mini guy, <laughs> he's so cute. Um, in case I didn't mention, this ironing board, this is one I got from Walmart. It's one of those little travel ironing boards, and I just leave it folded in half and use it as my heat mat. It works perfect. So I'm just going to heat this down. Again, you can use an iron, just a regular iron. You can use whatever you have at home. This seems good. I'm going to hit this side just a little bit. I don't think I held it there quite as long. Just run over that. Perfect. Now I'm just going to peel this away. Look how cute that little truck is. It's adorable. Uh, adorbs. You can make these so fast. Imagine this. Pick up 16 of these, 16 of your iron-ons. You can do your whole tree in these hoops. It'll be adorable. All right, so let this cool for just a second. Now we can put it into our hoop. So I'm just going to loosen my little hoop up here. So I've separated my hoops from each other. You have an inner circle and an outer circle. And I'm just going to put this down and lay this guy here and center him. I can see through the fabric so I can see where he's going. And I just want to make sure I have enough fabric to push down around the sides. And all I have to do, I'm going to loosen this a little bit more so it'll open up pretty good for me. All I have to do is slide this guy over to put it into place. I love making hoop ornaments. I remember when we were younger, we couldn't afford to like change our tree every year. So my mom would do stuff like this and she would go to the thrift store and buy skirts of fabric that she liked or if they didn't have fabric or a sheet, like a bed sheet or blankets. And that's where she'd get her fabric from. But honestly, these little bandanas are super cheap and a good way to go. All right, so I let that kind of stretch it for me. So see how nice and stretched that is? Now I'm gonna tighten this. Now here's a trick. Don't over tighten this. If you over tighten it, it'll start to buckle 
and you won't have this smoothness anymore. So you don't want to put that buckle in it. Just get it nice and snug. Now we're going to trim this excess fabric off. Super easy. I have to tell you, us pre-cutting the little vinyl pieces, 100% comes from my staff. My staff, most of them don't have a Cricut or a Silhouette or anything to cut um, images with. And they were like, I would totally make these if I had a machine. And I was like, you know, we could cut these little trucks for customers and for you guys. And they were like, that would make all the difference for me. I would be able to make these because I wouldn't feel like I couldn't get the little cutouts. And that's what is the hardest part is the vinyl. Look how cute that is. It's adorable. Okay, now we do pom-poms. And I want to show you something. So these pom-poms we did facing the back. You see how we put the little um, trim here and they go to the back? That's fine. You can do that that way. For today's demonstration, I'm going to flip it so you can see it in both ways, okay? So you need very little of this. I think this is like 12 inches. Um, we will have all the instructions for you in the blog post for this with all the measurements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pom-poms facing forward on this one so you can see the difference. So I'm going to run my trim where the pom-poms actually face the truck, okay? You can do it either way you want. I'm going to start here at the top by putting a little bit of glue to get me started. And be super careful here. Use all precautions when using your hot glue. This is a mesh fabric, so that glue will come through that mesh. You may want to use like a silicone um, spatula or something to help you get up in there and get that attached. But I got that first one started right there. And then I'm just going to run around and periodically add a little more glue and then run my pom-poms in. Just make sure you keep your pom-poms going in the same direction. Don't let any get behind you. You know what I'm saying? And just run that right along the edge. And it's cute either way you do this, but I wanted you to have an option. So just running around, sticking that in there. This is such a fast, easy project. Except for the hot glue part, your kids could help you. So if you let them use a tacky glue or even your art glitter glue, then your kids could help you do this too. The easy press or the ironing is just something that you can just supervise because as long as the kids are careful, they'll be fine with that. And it only has to be ironed for just seconds. So this is how it looks if you put your pom-poms to the front. It works either way. And they're a little more visible this way. I prefer them going backwards, but I wanted to show you both options. I have a hot glue string there. But I prefer them going in this direction, but I'd seen them done both ways, so I wanted to show you. Okay, so now all we need to do is tie our bow at the top. This is super easy. You're gonna take your bow, and you're gonna run it behind the hoop, okay, and under the screw. See that? That's where it's gonna live, right there under that screw, and we're just gonna tie right on top here. And there you go, a little bow tied on the top with your pom-poms going in two different directions for you to see how that works. And the best part is we didn't hot glue these shut because we just tied the little bow at the top, which means next year you can totally change these out if you'd like. If you want to change the fabric or if they go out of style or what have you, you could totally change it. So there you go. That is our little hoop ornament. And again, the instructions as well as the products and everything you need will be listed in the description. There'll be a blog post for you guys. So just do the show more button, click on the blog post, and it'll take you where all the products are so you can make these for your very own. They're super cute. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hey, when you make these and you put them on your tree, I want to see them. So take a picture for us and post it on our customer gallery at maymaymadeit.com on your tree. I'd love to see what they look like hanging there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.